So the rugby championship is happening at the moment. The All Blacks, um, to me, seem unbeatable. I don't reckon they'll get beaten if they keep performing like this in 2016. Dominic George, we thought we'd have a quick look back over the weekend that's gone, what's to come, and maybe a little bit of controversy around uh, Eddie Jones, the Australian English coach at the moment. But I, the reason I say I don't think they'll get beaten again this year it's Argentina in that first 54 minutes, I think will be the hardest 54 minutes of rugby they play this year. Argentina played as well as they could. I do not believe Argentina can play any better than that. We still ended up being able to beat them fairly comprehensively. I, I just really think that, that this all-black team is, doesn't need to go through a rebuilding phase because all their new players this year have played 20 test matches yeah. and you're seeing it. I think the uh, rugby championship, uh, they may not lose another game in that or a game in that. Uh, it's amazing when they flick that all-black switch, my word, how impressive is that? They are just unbelievable. But... Uh, in saying that there is an end of year tour and they play a lot of games on that tour. They go to Chicago and they play the Irish over there. Then they go over to Europe and play some test matches there. Uh, they can be tricky, those ones. Unfortunately, they're not playing England over there because I think when you look at the state of Australian rugby and South African rugby, um, who are you know, two, I guess, of the uh, traditional the last 20-odd years uh, powerhouses of South Africa for a lot longer than that, um, um, you sort of think, look around and you go, well, maybe England is the next best team. We don't know. We're not going to find out uh, until uh, 2017, I think, look, at, the, I, uh, at the earliest. I think, you, I think they probably aren't the number two team in the world, officially or unofficially at the moment. Potentially. But I, ha but I have to say, when you saw them beat Australia, and they beat them comfortably but not comprehensively. Yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah not, not they, in every test. Australia yeah. is pitiful at the moment. Um, and, and I don't think that's evidence of a strong and yet they, England. No, no, it's not. I think it's evidence of a weak Australia. Yeah, and then, of course, the Springboks, uh, and then Australia beats, um, beats the Springboks. But watching that game, right, it shows to me the difference between the All Blacks and those other two mm. sides. There was two minutes to go in the game. I watched the Australian-South uh, African game as well, and they were kicking the ball away. The, the team that had the lead were kicking yeah. the ball away, and the team that had uh, that needed the possession were kicking the ball away. And I went, you guys just, you're, it's almost like you're playing a different sport from the All Blacks right now. I mean, watching the weekend's game, at 54 minutes in, mm. we were up by two points. 13 minutes later, mm. we were up by 30 the All points. Black switch, they flick it, and it's away you go. And what, the, what, what I liked about that as well is Aaron Smith, who's uh, arguably one of the greatest players in the world at the moment, if he wasn't doing what he needed to be doing, was having a slight... Uh, they have no problem with saying, with 20 minutes to go, this doesn't happen with Aaron Smith very often, one example, off you go, and we've got another guy in here in TJ Perinara who can uh, pick the slack up. Australia don't have depth. The South Africans have to contend with this quota system. Uh, those things don't help their rugby either. So we were talking about Eddie Jones and the uh, English model at the moment. And, t and, and to be great, he hasn't lost with England yet. Um, but he said this uh, a few days ago of the All Blacks. Quote, we want to be number one team in the world. New Zealand are head of the pack, but they have flaws in their games. They're a bloody good side, but they're beatable. You've got to take on their weaknesses. Uh, and they've got significant weaknesses. I'm not going to share them with you now. In 2018, I will. Mm. So in other words, he doesn't know a thing. I tweeted out after I heard this comment, for someone who's got a 41% success rate against the All Blacks, they're pretty big words. If you can spot their weaknesses now, in no other season as a coach you've been able to seem to spot their weaknesses. But, you know, Eddie Jones stirring it up. It's kind of, well, I quite like though. it. Oh, it's great. The rugby needs that because if you think about it, that's kind of the story of the week, really, in terms of rugby. Eddie Jones is kind we're not even playing England, but there's very few stories, very few talking points, very few things you can hang your hat on uh, when it comes to this All Black side. They're simply too good at the moment. The thing is, it's not going to last either. You can't be unbeaten for uh, the uh, to, to you know to the end of time. They're going to lose at some <laughs> stage. I mean, they, only, they lost to Australia last year. You yeah. know, I mean, they do they do lose the odd game, the All Blacks. But uh, this is great. I can't wait for Steve Hansen and Eddie Jones to be going hammer and tongs to each other. Uh, or even just subtle digs in the media. Uh, Ari Savia at number seven this weekend. I'm looking forward to this. I had a conversation with uh, someone earlier today basically saying he's not as big as some of the other guys, winning big guys in the pack now. But that's what they were, they were not the size thing, but they were saying a similar thing about Bowden Barrett, that he has to be saved for the last 30 minutes. His impact is all that matters. Ari Savia, they're all they're talking about is impact, impact. but now he's got 80 minutes. Well, I really
really want to see this coaching goes. staff seriously if they don't think he's up for 80 minutes then they're not going to put him in to start mm. a test match that's just the plain and simple fact of the matter uh, we will find out after a test match against South Africa whether or not Adi Savia can foot it for 60, 70, 80 minutes at test match level and the score for this weekend is going to be? No, I think the All Blacks by about 15 points I don't think South Africa are going to be that bad uh, it is against the All Blacks their old foe I'm going around about the 15 to 20 point mark I'm, I'm yeah, I would say 13 plus, but under 30, so similar sort similar of margin. Similar sort of margin.